Hello and welcome to my video. Today we are going to solve the equation containing the floor function and take a look at one of the general methods of handling these kinds of equations. So the equation looks like this. 2x squared minus floor of x squared equals 3. Okay, well, the first key here is that we can write this x squared uh, using the floor a value of the x square, which is x square equals a floor x square plus alpha, where alpha is the value that is from 0 to less than 1. So here, the floor x square is actually uh, the integer part of x square and alpha is the fractional part of x square. Okay, so let's replace x square with the right hand side. Then we have 2 times floor x square plus alpha minus floor x square equals 3. And therefore, floor x square plus 2 alpha equals 3. So the uh, equations became sort of two variable equation with floor x square and alpha. So between these two, we actually go for alpha and that gives us alpha equals 3 minus floor x square over 2. Okay, uh, the reason that I solved for alpha instead of floor x squared is that alpha has its own inequality, which is this one. And this inequality is essentially the condition for the fractional part. So, so let's use this inequality. So the inequality is this, and therefore we have 3 minus floor x squared over 2 less than 1. And we can easily solve this inequality. Uh, and if we solve this inequality, we obtain floor x squared is larger than 1 and equal to or less than 3. So now we have the inequality about floor x squared uh, and this inequality is indeed very useful because of the integer condition of the floor x square. Right, so since the floor x square is an integer, the only possible value here is 2 or 3. And let's take a look at this equation. Uh, if we know floor x square, we can uh, calculate alpha from here. So we, for the pair of uh, floor x square and alpha, when x equals 2, this equation uh, gives alpha 1 over 2. And when x equals 3, then uh, this equation gives alpha a 0. Uh, the x square is simply the floor the integer part of x squared plus alpha, the fractional part. So therefore, x squared equals 2 plus 1 over 2 is 5 over 2, and 3 plus 0 is simply 3. And if we take our square roots, x is plus minus square root of 5 over 2 and plus minus square root of 3 and if we uh, rationalize this one uh, we have x equals plus minus square root of 10 over 2 and plus minus square root of 3 okay so we have four uh, roots right here and these four values are the solutions to the given equation
And that was all for today's video. Uh, if you somehow solve this equation with another approach, uh, please let me know. And as always, thanks for watching and I will see you in another video.